Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about barriers with holes. I'm going to put holes in parentheses because we would never build a barrier with a hole. But barrier is the wall or the shell in our room. Okay, so this is the barrier. This is what we call the barrier in acoustics when we build rooms for audio. The term we use is shell, okay, like a turtle. So it's the hard exterior of the structure, and in here we do all our stuff, okay, whatever the usage of the room is. How does the shell work with noise, okay? Well, a lot of rooms have windows. So they could have two by four, two by six, two by eight frame, it could be concrete, and then they have windows. This is a common situation in, in rooms today. And we have to remember that sound is like water. Okay, it will find the weakest link and go through it. Okay, so it may, we may have the same sound here, but only this much gets out. But 100% of it will leave through the window because it's the weakest link. In the whole structure okay if you have a boat and you're on the water and it has a leak in it the water is going to come through that hole same with a window okay so it's the weakest link glass is unless it's half inch three quarter inch inch thick which whose window is that right it's going to be the weakest link in your structure if you have one window in your room and everything else is concrete i guarantee you that's the biggest problem in your room and that's for sound coming in and obviously leaving, okay? What is a window in terms of absorption? It's perfect because sound leaves, never comes back. It's the perfect absorber if you think about it. But when it comes to noise, not only does sound leave, but it also comes in, see? So in all our rooms that we're working with that are existing in homes and, and situations like that, buildings, office buildings, there's always windows and they're always the source of the problem. So how do we treat the window? We come up with a term called density matching. So we have to take the density of our existing structure. Now these are minimums. Take the density of our existing structure and make the window the same, okay? So if this is two by six, two by eight, and there's concrete on the outside, there's plywood on the inside, there's drywall on the inside, you take the per square foot, that's the sig uh, insignia we use for square footage, and you calculate the weight per square foot. And then you calculate the weight per square foot of the window. And I guarantee you the window's gonna be way less. Let's say the weight per square foot here is 10, 10 pounds per square foot, okay? So then we look at our window, let's say the window's one pound per square foot. See the huge difference? Now you understand why all the noise goes through the window. So what do we gotta do to that window? We gotta make it 10 pounds per square foot if we're gonna keep the window. Nobody's gonna do that. Nobody's gonna do that because it's gonna mean plate glass half inch, three quarters inch thick, and nobody's going to do that. Well, some people do that are very, very serious and want to keep the window. So what do we do? We got to get rid of the window. We got to frame that window in and make the density at least match the existing density of the structure itself. If it's a concrete wall with a window, we got to get rid of it and make it concrete. If it's a wood frame room, we got to fill it in and get rid of it. Well, people don't like that, but that's the technical side of what you have to do, okay? So the closer we can get in density of the window to the existing structure, we'll have less noise issues coming in and leaving. So in most cases in audio rooms, in fact, we're at the point now when we do our design work for uh, rooms and uh, we've, we've done so many that I won't even do a design in a room with a window if you're serious about sound. Because we all know windows have a negative impact on frequency, uh, middle and high frequency uh, responses. And sound takes on the characteristics of the surfaces that it strikes. 
So if you're really serious about sound and you got a window, and if the window is the sidewall, let's take a two channel listening system with speakers set here. And it's on the sidewall and the sidewall reflections are glass on one side and drywall on the other. Can't have it. The time signature uh, delays are horrible. Um, you can't manage it. You manage it. You get phase issues. So on the other side of the coin, if noise is not an issue, we just want to deal with middle and high frequencies, then we treat the window with foam or some sort of other technology, depending on the issues within the room, depending on the usage. So, and we can put it on separate systems so you can slide it away. And we have a foam sliding window. You can go on our website and look at that. It's basically designed for Arcadia doors. So you just move the panels aside when you want to go outside or look outside. And then when you're playing music, you roll them into place and it has our foam, tech, foam technology built into it. Won't help with noise, but it will help with sound absorption in the room and you can still keep the window. So a lot of variables here we have to consider. So if we're gonna be real serious about audio, we gotta get all of these surfaces to have the same density when it comes to noise. So hope that helps. Barriers with holes, gotta be careful. Gotta think about how important the audio is in the room. And if it's really important and critical listening is the objective, we got to match all the densities and plug up all the holes. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.